Good evening. Hello. Uh, let me start with uh, saying a few things real quick. Uh, number one, how does the audio sound? Number two, I need to mute my phone. Because I dropped my mic a second ago. No, I didn't drop my mic. My mic fell over, so I'm make sure my mic's not all messed up or anything. Uh, also, the game audio might just be too low, but I'm not positive. Uh, number three. Uh, for some reason, Streamlabs is not connecting to Twitch. Like, I, I'm streaming fine, but it's not connecting to chat, so my only source of chat is the laptop in front of me, so if something happens with that, I'm just not going to be able to see chat until I get it fixed. Uh, and finally, number four, if my throat sounds scratchy or I start coughing at some point, as I feel like I'm about to do, <clears throat> do not worry. There is nothing wrong with me yet. I just ate half a bag of sweet tart sour gummies at 3 a.m. last night, and it literally corroded my throat. And because it was so late, uh, I'm not healed yet. So, uh, that was simply poor life decisions on my behalf. My, ugh, my behalf. And with that, as I, as I hope the audio is fine, no one has said anything to the contrary yet. Welcome to Settle It in Smash Ultimate, where we are ready to begin the number one contendership tor attorney. The ult for the ultimate title. I can't talk. My brain is mush. I also ate like a lot of chicken wings. So let me make sure everything on each end may be a bit louder. I'm going to presume you mean a game audio. In which case, absolutely. 100%. That is, that is, not, is not the game volume. Is there no, vo there's no volume right now. Hold up. Hold up, there's no volume right now anyway. Okay. You get a, get a quick peek. How's that sound? Is that better? Is that too loud? Is that exactly the same? As you see, a little, little peek at these characters, which we are now going to run down while I wait to see if the audio is good. These, this, ugh, this is your layout for potential number one contenders. To Jigglypuff's Smash Ultimate Championship. We'll, as usual, we'll run down them as we go into each match. I'm just waiting to hear about the audio if it needs to be higher or anything. <laughs> Am I late? Yes, the tournament is over. Audio a bit louder. Alright, gamers. Kerchanka. How is that? Because I get a drink of water for my corroded throat. Ah, that was a loud pop. My bad. Alrighty. Then with that, let me pull up. That's the wrong let me, I've got to pull up my list. I'm sorry. Unprofessional of me. I have Animal Crossing on the mind. That's, that's not even the right list. I'm such a fucking idiot. I'm such a dumb dumb. Alright. Starting off our first match of the evening. Our first match in round one. It is going to be the Ice Climbers versus Mukuro Ikusaba. Now this is this is this is an interesting. Uh, set up here for this first match. The Ice Climbers actually taken control of Ultra's offices, according to him, forcing him to uh, represent them. Of course, he Ultra, the first our first sponsor of this league. Uh, but we will get to his sponsored competitor later. Ice Climbers being represented by him by force, facing off against Mukuro Ikusaba, who never actually earned a slot in this tournament. Originally, this slot was meant for Shy Guy, uh, but Shy Guy declined to be in this tournament, said he had other business to take care of. Uh, and as such, we, we had to fill the slot. We went with another Mii Fighter. Mukuro impressed a lot of people last time she was in combat. So let's see how she fares against the Ice Climbers. Do not skip this battle. Basic rules, uh, three stock. All items on medium, I believe. Random stage. 
Mugro zero and one. The Ice Climbers. Uh, I have no idea. I cannot. Ice Climbers are two and one. Who's <laughs> gimmick infringement? Me, you madman. Sub in. I'm not talking about Ultra. Decided to recruit the rest of my clients into their cult. Mukuro, um, playing smart here, knows exactly which Ice Climber to go for, juggling Popo. Now wielding dual swords, a skill befitting of the Super Duper High School level soldier. And look at that. Couldn't care less about Nana. So who does chat have? Also, let me know if the audio is too loud for the fights. Oh, both? No, not both. I saw the two explosions for the Ice Climbers. Oh, Knuckles. Taking out the Ice Climbers again. Is Mukuro Ikusaba going to get a clean sweep against the Ice Climbers here? Mukuro's debut? No. Mukuro, Mukuro is 0-1. This is not Mukuro's debut. Mukuro just cranking out these assist trophies. Absolutely decimating both of them. Had final smashes. I don't know which one of them got the orb and which one just has the meter. Oh my god. And with their final smash up, it meant nothing to Mukuro Ikusaba, who clean sweeps the Ice Climbers. In 1 minute 23 seconds. Absolutely devastating. Now I said I said Mukuro hadn't earned their slot here, and while that was true, I think they more than just proved that they deserve their spot in this tournament. Jesus Christ! <laughs> they got it wrecked. I could return to my building minimal damage. Does audio sound weird to y'all? Am I just hearing things? That's a good question. I don't know. I don't have audio, but everyone should answer that question on whether or not the audio sounds weird so that I can fix it if it does. I mean, like, there's an easy solution to this. Give me, give me, give me one second to, like, mute my mic, and I can listen to the audio for myself. It sounds perfectly fine to me as well, so I guess it's on your end. The second matchup of round one is we just flew right through that first matchup. It is going to be Jigglypuff's contraption, her Frankenstein creation of safety danger, the evil Rob, going up against Isabel, here to promote her brand new game, came out officially today, Animal Crossing New Horizons. Be sure to go pick it up at your local Best Buy dealership. And they're going to settle things on the battlefield. On the big battlefield. Oh, you know that's when things are getting crazy. Isabel with that nice fishing pole spam. That's exactly how I play Isabel as well. Oh, look at this. I th round one. Round one's looking like it could be entirely clean sweeps. Oh, but we have that flag. The super flag. I don't actually know what that item is called, but it's an extra life right next to an assist trophy. That could be big things for whoever gets it. It looks like it's going to be Isabel. That could protect the extra life for Isabel to grab it safely and that's exactly what's gonna happen Isabel now with four stocks and you know what I won't lie if Isabel wins this as dominantly as it's looking like she's going to I can't wait to see Makuro Ikusaba versus Isabel but it might be a bit too early to call it now I was supposed to promote Animal Crossing with Isabel but no she went behind my back Isabel promoting Animal Crossing on her own, very easily avoiding Rob's final smash. Getting absolutely clowned on here, safety danger is. Jesus Christ, I thought she was going to kill him with the power block. The ultimate disrespect. Safety danger, very carefully avoiding that fishing pole, has been caught with it enough times. Oh, but with the flower. And Isabel busting out the Dragoon. Just take it, just eat the hit, safety danger. You're at 180%. You weren't living either way. Why is the bitrate so bad? Is that like, is that just me or is the bitrate god awful? This this just shows that the original is always the best, except with Danganronpa. 
I don't even like Animal Crossing like that. Is the bitrate absolute hot fucking garbage for anyone else? Is Smash just unstreamable for me now? With how absolutely poop this bitrate is? One minute I'm on top now, I'm forced to be working with a backstabbing dog. Isabel, with her final Smash ready to go, just fishing pole spamming him. Just playing with him, seems fine to me, fantastic. Our internet's been a little wonky, so I wouldn't be surprised if it's just playback on my end that makes it look like poop. Hard to tell on mobile, fair. Isabel, is Isabel going to clean sweep plus one against safety danger here? Oh my god, she is! Oh, never mind, he has ridiculous recovery. That was, that was such a clean move, though. Oh, that's it. That's gonna be it for Isabel. Hold up, hold up, hold up, hold up. Oh my god, the luck. The luck from Isabel there. It seems like everyone watches on mobile. I know my audience. Listen, listen. If my entire audience is on mobile, and you can't tell the difference on bitrate on mobile, pff, what does it matter then? Oh, some people on YouTube, it might look a little poopy. Ain't nobody watching on YouTube. If you're watching on YouTube, leave a comment in the YouTube videos, and maybe I'll see it in, like, three weeks when I upload this. <laughs> it's crazy. Absolute, what a miss from Safety Danger. Isabel chucking them boomerangs. Oh, that was, ooh, that was almost it. Incorrect, I'm on live. Well, 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 look at that. Mr. Fancy Pants. That's a Juratina. That's gonna be it for Isabel. She's gonna lose her first stock. I mean, there's no way Safety Danger wins this. We're just buying time at this point. I, I should've put a time limit on here. Dude, she's doing, he's doing everything he can just so this isn't a clean sweep. She's just flexing on him at this point. But Kawasaki, no one survives Kawasaki. Look at that. No one, no one outruns the chef. Chef, I mean, he's not going to be in Smash because he's an assist trophy in Smash. But I'll comment on YouTube for you now. Doesn't count. He's got the big gun. He got the big gun. Oh, wait, 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 wait. He could be on to something here. I don't think he is. I think he's about to get clowned on. Now I'm seeing it. The white background improves it. Improves what? The, like... Oh, I see the poopy bit right now. It's always on the top. Anyway, safety danger has been absolutely vaporized. I think it's... I think the issue is... I think it's particularly bad when, like, the screen zooms in because someone's doing, like, a final smash or something. Or when there's, like, a ton of effects. I don't know, dude. Smash is just a weird thing for me to stream. Listen, as long as it's not, like, horrible for anyone... Like, as long as everyone here can tolerate it, and it's like, oh, this doesn't distract from me. Hey, you know what? That's perfectly fine. You know what? Then then it's not that big of a deal. Safety Danger is now 0-2. Isabel. Was that Isabel's debut? Are you telling me that was Isabel's debut and I didn't even notice it? Well, gamers, it appears that that was Isabel's debut here in uh, the tourney rankings. Never mind. No, it was not. She was 0-1. She is now 1-1. I was mistaken. Jigglypuff can hack robots, but she sure as shit can't build one. Well, it is only literally a fragment of Rob's power. But speaking of a fragment of power, here we have probably one of the most interesting matchups of the entire tournament. Lucas versus Lucario. I think this one speaks for itself. A rematch. <laughs> now it's time for the Future Cell and Smash Champion. This is a rematch from Great Cave Offensive where Lucas and Lucario had a final smash-off, and Lucas resorted to the dark PK arts of PK Fire Spam in order to defeat Lucario, earning him a slot in this tournament. Lucario, sponsored by Ultra, the first sponsored competitor here in this tourney league. And they just so happen to match up here in round one of this tournament. Oh, what... Oh my god, what an arena for the rematch. The the only stage 
debatably bigger than Great Cave Offensive. Definitely more free room. Things are. This does not look good for Lucario. If Lucas should decide he wants to fall back on his dark PK arts, but you know, I I, I believe in Lucas. He's always been a good lad. I believe he wouldn't he wouldn't do it again. He just he just had a lapse of judgment. We've all made mistakes in the past. I believe that Lucas can be a true fighter here. Look, he's going for it. He's, he's looking for those kicky combos. I was getting close to Lucas to join me, but Zelda took everything. Now he ignores my calls. Uh-oh. Lucario giving himself a little space to charge up the Aura Sphere. A smart move. Kind of whiffed the Aura Sphere, though. What a move there by Lucas. Pokeball on the field. Who is going to be the one to get it? It's Lucas, who is much closer. Zorok, that's going to be it for Lucario. You have to imagine. And there he goes. I think he's going to bounce off the edge there, and that's going to be it for Lucario. And there it is. Lucas looking real good right at the start of this match. Lucas charging up that PK up smash, whatever it's called. PK, is it? I don't think it's PK Flash. Nonetheless, Lucario doing his best to recover here. Oh, looking for the spike on Lucas. Trying to catch him off guard. Oh, and the moving platforms are actually what ends up doing Lucas in here. And Lucario getting a lucky assist trophy. Not the best, but not the worst. Probably probably pretty bad for this stage, though. All things considered. Lucario trying to lure Lucas down there to it, but I think giving up on that idea now. Lucas with a quick PK fire. Nothing wrong with using a little bit of your arsenal whenever need be. And here it's come. This is when we see the final smashes come out. This is what led to their final smash off. Lucario hitting that aura beam. What is that? What is that called? Is it called aura beam? I don't know. Aura blast. Aura big fucking finish. As Lucas just trying to do a little time, hit some combos to build up his final smash. And there is another final smash on the board. This could be big things. I don't know what just exploded there. Which one of them is going to be the one to get it? It's going to be Lucas. Things are looking real bad for Lucario. The question is, did this cannibalize Lucas's? It did. It cannibalized Lucas's final smash meter. Which, you know, it's, it's bad for Lucario that he got it in the first place. But it at least buys Lucario a little bit of time from another final smash. But that up smash catches him. He was just in a bad place there. And things are looking real good for Lucas. But you know what? Lucas, he hasn't had to fall back on his PK fire yet. Well, Lucario, I think, getting a little s stumbled here. Or was baiting Lucas into it. It's kind of hard to tell which one he was going for. Lucario was looking for a juggle, but got caught by Lucas. Oh, Lucas firing out a few PK fires. Using it a bit more often than you like to see. Could Lucas be falling back on that crutch once again? Oh, and he tries the PK fire again, but catches an Aura Sphere for his trouble. Only to send Lucario away with an up smash. Lucas with a massive advantage here. Very floaty character, very hard to kill. But Lucario has the Berserker strength whenever his damage gets higher. Trying to snipe with the Aura Sphere, but he saw Lucas coming. He's doing a great job predicting. Lucas, this move, he's got the hammer. He's got the hammer. <gasps> oh my god. He, he had to give up. He had to give up the hammer to survive. Lucas did a great job with that urchin there to block Lucario off with the hammer. But Lucario able to get the kill with that aura beam, but you can see how close Lucas is. A ditto! A ditto on the field. Gonna give Lucas a taste of his own medicine. Never mind, it became Lucario. And here comes the PK fire. And he's he's been tricked. He's been tricked by the ditto. The Star Storm going for the ditto. Lucario could get needs to get that that assist trophy. Ditto is not gonna get it. No! Caught with the up smash. Lucario got tunnel visioned and was killed by Lucas. Who didn't have to fully rely on that PK fire, but he sure was kind of close. Wow, the bitrate was ab is absolutely horrible on this Lucas floating screen. What on earth? Is that just me? That looks absolutely horrendous. It does not look bad to you? Alright, well, I mean, that's good at least. A very tense matchup, nonetheless.
as Bubba lays flat on his tum tum. The music sounds weird to me still. What the fuck is that? Dude, I don't know what you're thinking about. The, the fucking. I'm gonna refresh my laptop in case it's my internet being wacky. Like, not on the stream end, but on my end. Like, on my laptop's end. Uh oh, Shiba going bonkers. It sounds like it's been doubled or something. Yeah, you might need to refresh. Okay. That was definitely on my end, because I just refreshed my stream and my video looks fine now. Can I not set it to auto so I don't get confused? Can I set that to 540 permanently, please? Thank you. It's not, it doesn't sound like good quality. Hey, next matchup of round one. It is going to be Incineroar versus Alf. Incineroar, uh, chosen by Jose, represented in this match. Uh, Alf won the... What, what the hell was it called? The, the the big wheel challenge or something? The big the was it the is it the spin wheel challenge? Is it the big wheel challenge? He, he stayed on the wheel the longest, and now they're gonna face off in the wacky balloon fight stage. Which one of these two will be a victor? It's not gonna be Alf, who just you know what you know what Alf can fly, but he sure can't swim. And Incineroar. Just flow, oh my God! Oh my God! Incineroar is he's just he's murdering him. What are you doing, Incineroar? He's toying with him. He's got a bat. He's got a baseball bat. Oh my God! Incineroar. It's Incineroar. Now, why is Incineroar snapping so hard? Look at Alf's face. Incineroar grabbing a mic to cut a promo in front of the crowd, and he's screaming, Did you see those suplexes? Did you see all those suplexes? What do you want? More! And when do you want them? More! And the crowd is just chanting, More! 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 And Incineroar going wild. He just smashed the mic on the ground. And he's going in to fight Lucas in round two. Not even a fucking minute. Dear God, I'm scared. <laughs> And now, after that massacre, uh, Young Link versus Sonic. Because why not? Sonic uh, won the home field, the battlefield, whatever it's called. The battlefield, what, what the fuck is it called? What is what what was that with the stam in the match? I don't even remember what I called that ma that match anymore. Whatever. Sonic beat King Diddy at Great Cave Offensive. Young Link like is a lost child that stumbled here. Young Link's just trying to catch his, his subway station. Young Link said, "Is this is this where my train departs?" And Sonic jumped him. And it's a fight now. So Sonic's looking. Hey, Bubba. Uh, either way, Incineroar has just uh, murdered Alf. Alf is dead. Alf has been killed. I'm trying to find where they are. I really need to alphabetize this list. I just wish there was an easy way to do it. The fuck is Incineroar? He's probably at the top. He probably got you. Well, he's not at the top. Dude, this is fucking. You don't have to control F this bitch. There he is. And this is now Sonic versus Young Link. If I can run us down 
uh, as he uses supersonic. Will this kill at 100%? And it actually will. A completely shocking turn of events that no one ever expected. As I'm going to uh, control F these two individuals. I believe this is Young Link's debut. This is, in fact, Young Link's tourney debut. Uh, he's not even a officially a part of this tourney. He was just trying to get on his subway, trying to find his bus. Got jumped by Sonic. He's now forced into this fight. Sonic is 0-1 in the tourney. Here's my newest disciple. He shouldn't be here. Isabella's supposed to cover me. She screwed me. I just met Young Link yesterday. He isn't going far. Oh, using a final smash on someone who's at 180%. Don't know if I agree with that game plan, Young Link, but this is now a perfectly even matchup. And Young Link getting the Dragoon. I didn't even... I've been watching the match. I won't lie to you. I didn't realize he had the pieces. Oh, but Sonic holding on. Young Link. Oh, ho, ho, baited. Look at that. Look at this turnaround from Young Link. I don't even have enough prestige to get Disciple recognized from Trey now. Correct. Young Link absolutely turning things around. Listen, listen. Young Link, he's, he's, he may be a child, but he's a master of the way of the sword. He chose to not be a part of these tournaments, lest he have to slaughter you all. But Sonic forced his hand, and now he doesn't have a choice. <laughs> Young Link seems very inexperienced. Wait a second. I got more recognition because of Encephal World Black. Sonic now with the golden hammer. Oh, but Gray Fox, another master of the sword. It's a squeaky hammer. It's a squeaky. He had a squeaky hammer. Sonic, you, you're absolutely doomed. The squeaky hammer has doomed Sonic the Hedgehog. And this is why you don't pick fights on a Detroit subway station. Because you never know who's going to bust out their Claymore. And that's going to be it for Sonic. Young Link is victorious. And if you were betting money on that little spunky kid from the Bronx, well, congratulations. You just tripled your profits. As I give Young Link a 1 and 0. Do -do -do -do. Oh, don't see Doody eating dim feet. Oh, I even I didn't even when I was sent throwing them up, I didn't even notice this matchup. As it is now going to be the newcomer, the debuting Byleth going one on one against the pick that some people believe could be the pick to win this entire tournament and the championship Zelda I'm trying I can't read chat I can read chat again I couldn't read chat for a second Frosty's OMG please was the last thing I saw man did Martha get a makeover or what my last chance for redemption in Link what the fuck is this BS <laughs> Byleth versus yeah Young Link has the fight either Byleth or Zelda Zelda, of course, proving herself a complete dominant competitor, earning her shot here, facing off against Byleth in one of the most illegal stages in existence. I know nothing about Byleth. I don't think I've ever played as her. I don't think I've ever used her. I don't think I've, pl I think I've played the game once. I think we did the Great Cave Offensive show after Byleth came out. I think that was the last time I touched Smash Brothers. So these two are going to have a hell of a brawl right here in the center of this clusterfuck of an arena. Right, I'm going to set this to auto because clearly setting it to 540 makes it lag nonstop. We, we could see, we could potentially see damage up in, up in the scales of 200 or more in this matchup. You never know what you're going to get in the Mario Bros. level. Look at all these techs. You have so many chances to tech. She already won a tournament. Why is Zelda here? She won a tournament to get a match on the last show. So now she's in a tournament to get a number one, to become number one contender. OMG, is that Zelda I'm a fan of? Zelda and Violet each at 100%. Now you're going to see some high percentages in this match, unlike that Incineroar versus Alf match. Violet's still teching at 148. Here's the thing, here's the thing. Any, any move could end this match. Literally any move. 
but you have no idea what move it's going to be because you don't know how often they're going to be able to tech these hits. Zelda could tech this. And Zelda does tech it, but you know what you can't tech? Dying instantly from a final smash. There is no way to tech Zelda's final smash, and that could be the deciding factor in her match against Byleth here. OMG Zelda, I find it real funny she's right next to my newest disciple. <laughs> no one could ever hate Zelda such a face. Byleth looking for a final smash, misses this time. And oh, wait, how did, how did Byleth get her shield broken? As Obama Snow now trying to tear Byleth apart. Of course, as, as you all know, Byleth fighting wars for what's right, trying to save everyone, trying to free the good peoples. Zelda has become a very tyrannous queen lately. Uh, executes about 30 villagers a day in the dra what a What a Dragoon! What a use of the Dragoon to turn this match around. You can't tech at the top. And I think Byleth just figured that out. I think Byleth figured out that camping at the top might be the best idea. Trying to keep Zelda from getting down here where she can tech all of those hits. This is so rigged for Zelda. Heard that Zelda had a disciple or something. I haven't heard those rumors. Zelda, I would doubt that Zelda has a disciple. She thinks that everyone is below her. Maybe why she's being foolish enough to stand at the top. She believes that she's higher off than Byleth. And that could be the cost of her as each of them. No! No, she dies! Zelda's out round one. Zelda is out round one. As the newcomer, Byleth, shuts her down. It, what an absolute upset that almost no one saw coming. No one expected the brand newcomer to shut down Zelda. The absolute tyrant. Oh, and she, she's freaking out backstage. She's furious. She can't believe that such a lowly commoner would take out this newly christened queen of everything you have to imagine that might not be the last we hear from zelda anytime soon and also i didn't even realize this zelda was undefeated she was three and oh that was the end of zelda's winning streak her undefeated streak has come to an end did zelda zelda just choked the match correct ending her streak now in the match <laughs> following that up pretty scary match the follow-up rob who former champion of course this is his shot at earning a rematch being in this tournament got absolutely crushed by jigglypuff uh rob now facing off against the pink villager who not only is here to advertise animal crossing new horizons but would have been here anyway uh, due to the fact that she won the Omega Battle Royal at uh, Great Cave Offensive. I'm trying to find some win-loss records here. Give you a little peek into what we uh, have in store. I swear to God I'll alphabetize these by the next event so I can find them easier. Uh, Pink Villager 1-0. Only match on record is the Omega Battle Royal. Rob 0-1. Only match on record is losing to Jigglypuff. Wow. And it, it is worth noting that the Zelda's loss came immediately after separating herself from everyone, after claiming to be above everyone else, throwing aside all previous alliances. Do you have to think maybe that hubris is what caused her? Maybe when she had something to prove with her memory loss, maybe that's, you know, what was driving her. Now that she's accepted her new self, thrown away her past, maybe her ego is costing her a bit in the end. That being said, Pink Villager going one-on-one -on -one against former Ultimate Champion Rob. Trying to juggle Pink Villager off-screen. Two competitors with incredible recoveries in a stage with no drop-offs. <coughs> I still can't get over the squash match we saw earlier. The Incineroar one, of course. Incineroar real hyped up. I've, I've been informed that Incineroar merch sales have just skyrocketed. Absolutely. We're, we're selling so many BBC Big Black Cat shirts. 
The crowd loves him. His villager trying to corner Rob with that final smash. Trying to pick the right time to use it. I think she's trying to kill him and save the final smash. But I think Rob might be good enough to avoid it. Unless she busts it out real quick. She risks the time limit on it running out. Oh, and she tried to use it. She didn't want to risk losing it. And she ended up wasting it, but gets the kill anyway. Hang on a second, Young Link trying to escape on Subway. I need to throw him out again. It's bad. Jose cannot get a lick of that profit because he's only a friend. Dude, even I don't get a lick of that profit. This is fucked. Oh my god! What a laser beam. Tearing apart the pink villager. And you know, this this has been an extremely intense round one of a number one contenders tournament. Jesus! Blowing pink villager away right off the screen again. And you have to imagine that Jigglypuff is sitting somewhere in her secret hacker cave in her gaming chair reclining and watching this tournament very closely. Picking out all of the potential weaknesses for any of these challengers for her title. I don't care for money because I'm rich on friends. I'm rich in the company I can keep. Nice Lloyd. Sitting out another Lloyd. Good parry and dodge by Rob here. Things looking real good for the former champion. Some people questioning if maybe Rob lost his touch after that match against Jigglypuff where he got absolutely destroyed. Good to be looking for a big bat swing. What a move. But taking out Villager with ease. Rob proving here why he was a former champion and proving that he may not be washed up just yet. I'm broke because of Ridley. Sorry, Mecha Ridley. And for the final match of round one, we have a very intriguing one. Give me a second to blow my nose, sorry. The crowd asking a good question, what happened to Marth? You think he's a former champion, he'd be involved more? Well, uh, as simple, uh, you know, that's exactly where we get here. Lucina here, the only Settle It and Smash double champion, uh, here, getting ready for the number, uh, number one contender tournament for the only title she doesn't have. Of course, she's a slave to Marth. Marth used a ton of money to get Krom put into Smash. Now holding that over Lucina's head, that debt... And Marth sitting back in his million dollar mansion, relaxing and kicking up. He said, Lucina, you've got every other title for me. You go out there, you win me that Smash Ultimate Championship, and all of your debt is repaid. The moment you hold all of those belts for me, your your debt is gone. Until you drop all those belts. You work for me till you drop those belts, and then you're free to go, you and Krom both. And so she is here to fight for that because Marth, he doesn't want to get his hands dirty. He wants to just walk into the title match. And Ganondorf, also something on the line here. You know, Ganondorf, he's been absolutely throwing a fit lately, losing all of his open challenges. Can't believe it. And he made an announcement. He said that he's been going overboard. He's been losing his temper. And he has declared that tonight, if he does not win... This number one contenders tournament, he is going to go back into training. He is not going to have any more open challenges, no more rampaging. He is going to isolate himself and grow stronger. So let's see how that goes. Personally rooting for Mukuro, I'm rooting for my scary friend Emo Roar. We got Waifu Dorf versus Lucina. I of course got Young Link if he stops trying to run away in five seconds. Ganondorf coming right out of the gate. Coming right out of the gate. A double champion. Oh my god! Oh she whipped it. Oh my god, oh my god, oh my god! Okay, that did nearly just probably should have just done a smash attack. These two have so much on the line. These are the, this this match. In, in the end of round one has the highest stakes of potentially the entire tournament aside from the finals. And they are just giving it everything they've got. Lucina throwing out every Pokeball she can. Oh, an 
a Doria sends Lucina flying. <clears throat> Looking for that Warlock dive, but Lucina fighting him off. Ganondorf with the lead here. Looking for another big... Oh, tried to hit her with the Doria. He's, he's going for all these big charge moves, but she's catching him off guard. Lucina, too quick to catch more than a few times. A nice Warlock dive, though. Fantastic Warlock dive by Ganondorf. Shields the Warlock kick. Ganondorf, can he swim back up? Oh, and she baits him off with the ledge guard. Now with the critical hit ready. He needs to be very careful. Oh, but luckily he was at zero. The dwarf still trying to get credibility. She's trying to bait Ganondorf with those this ledge guarding. Oh, and a ditto on the field. But Ganondorf with the final smash kills the ditto. Lucina still standing strong though, buying herself a little bit of time with that Pokeball. Both Ganondorf and Lucina trying to get some food. Very even matchup right now with them throwing out everything they've got. Ganondorf in a bad place right now. He does not want to be on that side. He's seen how good of a ledge guarder Lucina is as she tries to counter him in the water. But it doesn't quite pay off. You know, I think Ganondorf might have gotten a bit lucky there at the start. But I think Lucina, he's, he's too slow. Lucina now reading his patterns or not. That stomp spiking her through the floor. What a maneuver by Ganondorf. Lucina, two-thirds of the the Dragoon. A lot of items coming out here. Bad place for Ganondorf to be. Very bad place indeed. As she has the Dragoon, he's just going to wait it out. Absolute smart move by Ganondorf. And here we go. 0-0. Zero, zero. One life to one life. Final smash ball on the field. Who's going to get it? It's going to be Luce. How did Lucina get that? And she hits and it kills him. What did that just kill? Did that kill an 8%? That went from 8% to 71. Absolutely unbelievable. I hate to say it. I really hate to say it. After after all the rampages that Ganondorf has gone has gone through, after all the fits he's thrown. I think Ganondorf got screwed. I'll be the first one to say it. I think for all the times Ganondorf has choked, I think for all of the bad decisions he's made, I think Ganondorf just got screwed. But in the end, it doesn't matter. All the way, and if you if you go back and you look at that first critical hit she landed, he went from 0 to 44. With that one, he went from 8 to 71. But you know what? At the end of the day, a loss is a loss. And Ganondorf just lost. Lucina going on to round two. Ganondorf on a losing streak still. O oh, and four. As Dunk's doing a big crunchy. Was that Lucina's singles debut from the for the tourney records? I believe believe it was excuse me yes that was lucina's singles record debut so lucina one and oh pichu would have been proud listen it's time to admit the dwarf just isn't good enough well maybe that's exactly why he's going into training now that isolation uh i'm gonna use the restroom run an ad break and then we will jump right into round two stay tuned Welcome back to round two of the tournament. This this is gonna be this is gonna be a hell of a matchup. Isabel versus Makuro Ikusaba. And oh, sponsored by Animal Crossing New Horizons, Isabel with the home field advantage. Oh, uh, Mukuro might be set up to lose right here. Mukuro might be doing the job. We're really putting Animal Crossing over here tonight, brothers. Don't forget, those of you here on stream, to stay tuned. Once Settle and Smash is done, we're going to transition into playing the beginning of Animal Crossing New Horizons. This is a legit, not not sponsored by Animal Crossing New Horizons, but is legit sponsored by me playing Animal Crossing once this part of the stream is done. Dude, she, this is, this is just nasty. 
Isabel spamming that Firefly and Mukuro trying her best to keep a distance with that long blade of hers. But now Isabel with the scythe. And Mukuro at 100%. Things could be bad. But look at that great recovery as Shiba going wild in the crowd. Rooting for Isabel. Woofs out for the fellow dog. Trying to use that fire flower against her. And there... Oh, wait, what? Wait, what happened? Wait, what just happened? Isabel just blew herself up. And now, Mukuro Ikusaba with the final smash after Isabel making a foolish mistake here. Oh, getting her off the edge, but Isabel brilliantly dodging the final smash there. Mukuro trying to be careful. Isabel going to get that final smash any moment. There it is. Oh, just throwing her aside. Is Isabel going to get that? No, trying to lure Mukuro into the assist trophy. Gets it for herself. Knowing that Mukuro too scared to get close with that final smash at the ready. But Isabel not even going to get a chance to use it. Great plays there by Mukuro. Grabbing that screw attack. Taking out Springman and buying herself time against Isabel. Now Mukuro getting that full-on final smash. Finnegan doing her real good here. Isabel has great recovery, so I don't think she's going to be in trouble, but it could cut it close, especially if, if Mukuro pops those balloons. She almost did. Isabel appears to be an honest warrior. She's a backstabber. Mukuro now in the lead. Isabel fishing for a, for a catch right there. Mukuro's not going to fall for it. She's too smart in combat to go down to a trick that easily. Isabel in a bad space now. She was in the lead, but Mukuro getting caught by the Lloyd in the ground. Oh! Fantastic stop sign usage by Isabel as the Hammer Brother kills himself, but never mind. He's still in it. He can just teleport right back. Little dumb if you ask me, but I didn't make Super Smash Brothers. Look at this ledge guard by the Hammer Brother. And now the Juratina in play. I think this is where we lose Mukuro. I think this is where we lose Mukuro. And there was nothing that could be done. There was no way for her to make it back on the ledge. I don't think anyone would have been able to make it back on the ledge there. But I think, I think we all have to give a round of applause to Mukuro, who respectfully... Not gives the nod to Isabel. That was that was a fair and square fight. Isabel got a little bit lucky, played a little bit better, and Mukuro concedes that that match was fairly lost. But nothing taken away here from Mukuro. Mukuro, the, the chat disagrees. Chat spamming. Mukuro got fucking screwed. Oh, isn't that right, Dunks? Oh goodness, I can't believe it. And now. Oh, this, this match right here. Melee versus magic. No range versus all range. Incineroar versus Lucas. And Lucas coming out the crowd, giving a mixed reaction after his spamming of PK fires in the recent weeks. And in all the crowd going wild for Incineroar, screaming, more, more, more. <laughs> we might be seeing some PK fires. Chad having absolutely no faith in Lucas to fight an honorable duel against Incineroar. And you know what this is? This is no drop-offs. This is a place where his lack of recovery doesn't matter. Oh my god! He's coming for Lucas. Lucas trying to bait him off the front of the train. Going for an assist trophy right off the gate. He knows he cannot beat Incineroar one-on-one. -on -one, and he's immediately calling for help. Dunks very intensified. Oh, and Lucas using that assist trophy to take a stock already. Incineroar striking those poses. What is he doing? He's just an adrenaline junkie jumping, jumping off the plane. Lucas hit him with those up smashes. That assist trophy definitely helped Incineroar out. And the beetle takes Lucas. I didn't even see him hit the beetle. I didn't even see Incineroar throw the beetle. What an absolute great use of that item by Incineroar. Lucas, not the only one that can use items. Incineroar, I don't think, quite able to make it. 
to that final smash. Orb! Oh! But baits Lucas into it. Knows that Lucas is going to be the coward to go for the final smash ball. And that's exactly what happens. Incineroar trying his best to dodge. Oh, but he can't get away from the PK Star Storm. He almost did, though. Now Lucas with a massive lead here against Incineroar. He's, he's running. He's running and PK firing the crowd. Not pleased with this at all. They do not want to see Lucas run and use PK fire. They want to see him fight Incineroar. And he gets grabbed and he's getting thrown for this ultimate suplex dive. Lucas still alive though. Oh. Oh, Incineroar getting thrown into that star. I don't know why that started activate. Lucas with the Dragoon too. Even had to use the Dragoon to finish him off. I see when Isabel gets help, it's because she's smart, but Lucas gets help because Lucas can't win alone. I didn't say it was smart. I said it was lucky that she had Juratina and Hammer Brothers there. I literally said it was luck. And Lucas running the distance. Playing avoidance from Incineroar. And I mean, you have to admit, it is smart to keep your distance from Incineroar, especially after that last match, but that doesn't mean the crowd is any happier to see it. Incineroar now at 2 and 3. Oh, the crowd not happy with that result. Lucas. Lucas at 6 and 1 now. Really been on a roll. Lucas cheated, boo. And now on the other side of the field. So we know one half of the semifinals is going to be Isabel versus Lucas. And on this half of the field, we are going to see Young Link versus Byleth. These two sorties going at it. Of course, Young Link... Still doesn't even really realize he's in this tournament. He couldn't get on the subway. He's just deciding to walk home. He's just walking through Pac-Land, trying to get to his house, and Byleth jumping him out of nowhere and just knocks him off screen right away. He, he doesn't even realize it's a fight. He doesn't know where this, this lady came from. He thought maybe she might have needed some help or something, but no, Byleth jumping him, already taking a stock, catching him off guard. The ambush here on Young Link. As he tries to block these mushrooms, confusing him. He doesn't he has no idea what's going on here. He's he's just trying to get home. People keep jumping him. Oh, dodging that big final smash there. Oh, there goes that big whatever that bow is called, I forget. Young Link doing a nice job dodging it though. Has a bomb in his hand. Should probably throw it at some point before it blows up like it just did. He doesn't even want the final smash ball. But he's going to take it if that's what he needs to do. And the final smash taking out Byleth. Not going to go for the Pokeball though. Lightning Bolt maybe and he does. Oh he's spamming his bombs. He's just trying to keep her away. He doesn't want to fight this lady. Young Link doesn't want to hit a girl. He doesn't know this is a tournament. He doesn't know that's what he's supposed to do. And now Byleth Invincible. He's just trying to get her to leave. He just wants to be left alone. But she's coming with invincibility at him now. <laughs> Chat, I am so scared. <laughs> Young Link blowing himself up with a bomb. Trying to get her to stay away. Byleth with her final smash now. <laughs> a little iffy on that hitting, but whatever. I guess it was right up close range and just sending him flying. Now in this teleportation land, Byleth trying to force him off the edge there. Oh, that, that was a little jarring. Young Link just throwing a Pokeball at her. I, I have no idea what Pokemon came out, just lost to the void. And there goes Young Link, the poor lad, just trying to walk home after getting jumped off the subway, getting jumped yet again. And Byleth progressing through the tourney. The crowd not happy with Byleth's dirty sneak tactics on that one. They thought she was above that after taking out Zelda. But maybe she isn't much better than anyone else. T 
chat, not happy. And now, Violet is a shitty name. Sure is, brother. Sure is. It's so shitty, in fact, that the game prompts you to change it immediately. Alright, the final match of round two. This this is gonna be this is gonna be a tough one. The former Smash Ultimate Champion Rob facing the client of the man Rob beat for that title, Lucina. A lot on the line here for both of these competitors. Lucina trying to get out of her debt. Rob trying to prove he deserves to have that title once again, fighting here on top of this airplane. And Rob immediately going at it with as many combos as he can. I'm back. What happened? It seems in Cinerora loss. Young Link, I know the way home. Just follow me and I can train you to become stronger so you can go home. Young Link says, no thank you, sir. I appreciate the offer, but I really need to get home before curfew. I have school tomorrow. What a responsible young man. As Rob, I didn't even see him take a stock. <laughs> Many cheated wins have happened. <laughs> Big laser beam there. Rob one stock up on Lucina, who you can tell is panicking a little bit, just starting to throw a few hits out here. Trying to even things up on Rob. What a parry by the former champion. Shooting that laser beam, sending her away. Rob still holding on at 126%, but not for long. Well, Young Link still has school, of course. He has he has he's he has his online classes. Because he won't let anything slow him down in his betterment of his education for a brighter future. Oh, and Lucina getting baited into her own ba bomb. <laughs> Rob just bonking her with the scythe. Buddy, you brought a scythe into a sword fight? Crim bonk. And Rob's final smash? Destroying Lucina. Rob. I Honestly, I, I have to admit, maybe I'm wrong. I think this is an outcome no one really expected, especially in that sense. Rob absolutely trashing Lucina and throwing her away. Heading straight into the semifinals, the former champion. I, I was really expecting us to get to Byleth versus Lucina. I didn't even watch that match. Rob, an experienced veteran attorneys. <laughs> Actually, he's this is his first tourney. Uh, no, it's not. He was in the tourney that started all. This is his first on-record tourney. And here we go. The semifinals on the left side. Isabel versus Lucas. Isabel still... Eh. Sponsored by Animal Crossing New Horizons. Coming up right after this stream. You saw Smashville. Now get ready to see this turtle island from Animal Crossing New Leaf. She's fishing and she caught herself a honker. <laughs> Lucas, oh my god, she's clowning on him. She, I didn't realize we were watching Oscar nominated film Joker because Lucas is looking like an absolute clown right now. I gotta go with the sponsorship, it's too good. Lucas trying to run away from Isabel, resorting to a bit of PK fire spam. Getting real dirty here in this matchup already. Normally at least takes a little longer to get there. It's like it makes her stronger. Lucas trying his trying to keep his distance. Attacking that <laughs> she should have pulled the thing. She would have got him right then. Trying to keep her distance. Looking for some fishies. Still think Emo Roar deserves a title match. Not if you keep calling him that. There's a hammer on the field. No one wants to go for it. Do they know something we don't? Isabel maybe trying to bait him over. She had this final smash for a while. Hammer on the field, but so are some bob bombs. Oh, and there it goes. You fool! Oh, she just took him out of the play. Nice bomb expert there. Isabel detonating them with quite the precision 
as a Lucas with the PK Starstorm. How does Isabel still have her final smash? What is this nonsense? How did he whiff that? That was the worst PK Starstorm I've ever seen in my life. I didn't know it was that possible to have a PK Starstorm that bad. Isabel, did Isabel hack her final smash? What is this? Why is it unlimited? Just use it, gamer. Is this, a, is this like a, a shoot bug? Why isn't it depleting? She's approaching him with such raw power. Oh, there's a there's a shark in, from one side, Isabel with an infinite sm final smash on the other. Which one's more dangerous? Isabel trying to throw him out to the shark. What a combo! Into that final smash. Lucas getting blown away. We're not dropping any frames, are we? We still good? Now, you all think I ran out of willing disciples, but I have one more trick up my sleeve that I don't even uh, want to use unethical means to be my disciples. You can make it happen, Jose. I could, but Jose Dunk Stream. <laughs> is it the 5 tier 10k one? I know I want the Dunk Stream as well. Dunk Stream is, I believe, 10k because it's the highest reward along with pick a stream. Like, make, create a stream. Where you pick what game you play. You know what I'm saying. Oh, nice, nice counter there. Is Isabel going to clean sweep for the second time in this tournament? This one would be a much more tricky clean sweep. That's for sure. Oh, what a parry. Dodging the up smash. Most people have fallen for that. Isabel might have been paying attention all. But she does get caught setting up the Lloyd and gets killed. Oh, she's fishing for Lucas. Oh, went tried to grab that. Assist from she does. Absolutely baited. Why didn't the backstabbing dog just honor her deal? She knew she didn't need you. All she needed was the power of the islands. Dude, this is kind of like, I'm already hyped to play Animal Crossing as soon as this ends. I'm kind of getting more hyped. Isabel killing herself off that launch star into the PK Star Storm. Lucas might have a chance here. Lucas could turn this around, but it's going to have to be a real close one. Big parry into the grab. The dunk stream is 50k. Okay. Is any also Isabel just one and Crouch is away like a stealth. Is there uh 100k? I think 50k is the highest. I could make any match for 10k. Correct. Okay. Yeah, matches are 10k. 50k are the big rewards, which is make a stream and make a uh Isabel thing. Not Isabel, make a dunk stream. I'm sorry. Poor poopy dog. He's sad. Isabel now three and one going into the finals as a Lucas droops down to Five and two, I think. Maybe six and two. If I can find him here. Look as He is six and two. I stand corrected. There wasn't even any shading dealings. It was just me promoting Animal Crossing in exchange for the money earnings. She doesn't need your promotion. She's pocketing the bells for the island. Come on down to Jabberwock Island after this stream. And here is the other semi-finals match, a very exciting one. The brand newcomer, Byleth, undefeated 2-0, going up against the veteran, former champion, Rob the Robot. And this, this is going to be a thrilling battle. Woohoo Island. I would say this actually, as weird as it may be to say, I think this benefits Rob in his much superior recovery. Not that Byleth's recovery is bad, but Rob's recovery is so good that it benefits him to be able to recover. That's how good it is. Oh, Chain Chomp on the field. That's gonna... That would that would be much worse. Pile Driver! That would be much worse if we were still on the moving platform. So he, can, he just has to hope that the Chain Chomp disappears before then. As Byleth has free reign to grab that assist trophy, and that's exactly what she does. As Rob has some challengers on all sides of the field. Byleth really relying on weapons here. Byleth doesn't have BS stage advantage. Byleth just has 100. I mean, she's taking the BS assist trophy advantage. Dude, I, I kind of want... See, I like Rob. Part of me wants to see Isabel and Byleth and just hope for non-stop assist trophies. Where they just don't even hit each other. They just use assist trophies. Pretty good idea for a gimmick match. Rob being real smart, getting behind her whenever she charges up that ore club. This is, where, this is where that veteran instinct comes in. He knows exactly what to do when facing someone with that dreaded ore club. Oh, brilliant play by Pilot! Oh, what a combo! That absolutely unbelievable combo. But you know what? Using that final smash on someone who's at like 120%, I don't know if I agree with that idea. 
as Rob can just kill you with one quick hit, or just by getting you into that launch star, which, oh, never mind, launch star's facing the wrong way for that to kill her. But nonetheless, he could still get one good hit off on her, but he has to actually get that hit. I can't believe that wasn't the hit, to be honest with you. Oh, fantastic dodge by Byleth. The top didn't take her out as she slows down time, but she has to get close to Chespin, who is not slowed down. What is Rob doing? Rob leaving the safety of Chespin. I don't know how smart that maneuver was. Could Rob be choking a bit against this newcomer here? Tapu Koko on the field. Oh, things are not looking good for Rob here. And there's another assist trophy. Byleth using everything available to try and take Rob out. And it's a shame Rob had to use the final smash and then that could really cost him. Oh no, a shield break. Oh, and he got lucky. She attacked the chicken for some reason. That saved him from taking too big of a... That would have been, I think, a guaranteed death if she had been facing the right way on him. Instead, she grazed him, busted out the chickens. And now he's still in a dangerous spot. Oh, that's exactly what I'm talking about. But he has a slight better of a chance than he would have otherwise. But only a very slight one. As you can tell, Byleth really busting out the moves here with her absolutely busted Final Smash combo. Which we're gonna see at the top of the screen! That's gonna be a death. That's gonna be it. It's gonna be Byleth versus Isabel for the number one contendership. What a combo! What a combo! Byleth, the newcomer, undefeated, stepping in to settle it in Smash and making it to the finals of her first tournament taking out the former champion as she is now going to face off against Isabel for the number one contendership. I think a lot of people may have considered Byleth could have been a hero walking out of that Zelda match but I think we are starting to realize she could be an even more devastating threat to us all but nonetheless it is time for this ultimate showdown here in the finals female versus female dog versus human soldier versus soldier sponsor versus dlc isabel versus byleth what a weird stage to have the finals on a walk off and a pit how does everyone fall for that? She just sits and waits it out. Is Animal Crossing taking the double win today? Oh my god, that combo is so disgusting. Is Isabel using a bomb of snow. Of course, both these competitors really using items whenever it benefits them to keep their opponents at a distance. Nice fishing pole. I would say that was the wrong way to fish, Isabel. That would be my professional opinion. I don't know how that bomb didn't do anything to her. But it sure worked out. Oh, what a dodge! Hammer! Hammer on play! And there goes Byleth. You're back. Welcome to the finals. It's Byleth versus Isabel. Byleth waiting out the hammer as best she can. Juggling Isabel up top. Who tries to go fish. Oh, and taken right off the edge. Welcome back to hell. Oh, going fishing again. She's, she's looking for a honker. Byleth doing her best to dodge with the final smash. You have to be careful. Not only do you have to avoid Byleth's final smash, you have to avoid Byleth's tether. Because that that's, a, that's basically a true... Whoa! Wait! She faced the wrong way. She choked. Byleth just choked. Byleth just choked. Byleth just choked. Byleth just choked. This could be the fattest choke of all time. I haven't seen a choke this big since I visited some sketchy websites that are not f YouTube friendly. Byleth now. There's two smash balls on the field, but we don't know which is real, which is fake. And my prediction is the one on the right is fake. Please, please don't say that word in chat. It's dangerously close. To a different word. Isabel, you fool! Is Isabel going to choke? Is this the Isabel choke? 
Can Byleth combo her off the top like she did to Rob and turn this match around? Could this be an even bigger choke than I once thought? Oh my god. Oh my god! Oh! Right off the edge! Right off the edge! That's it! That's it! It's right off the edge! <laughs> the rare... The, the rare double choke. The rare double choke. You Normally you gotta pay $9.99 to see a double choke like that on the back ends of the internet. The fattest L I've ever seen in my life. <laughs> and Byleth, the newcomer. Jesus Christ. I don't even know how to feel. Why did you spell shake? Wait, why did you spell shake in chat? Did you meant to spell choke, but you spelled it shake? What's that spell? It spells shake. You said give me, give me an A, give me a K, give me an E. Can we go to Animal Crossing now? Shake, because I choked. Where is it? There it is. Alright, good. I'm I love I love having that ready. I really need to remember to make it bigger. Hey! Thanks for coming to Settle It and Smash! Byleth is your number one contender. Are you ready to hear this? Are you ready for this? At the next event, which we don't have a stage for yet, it is going to be main evented by Byleth versus Jigglypuff. For the Smash Ultimate Championship, a clash of the gods. Not gonna lie, I kinda would have rather seen Isabel versus Jigglypuff. I would have loved to have headlined a show with that one. I think I think it's good to know what the uh, what the main event is before we decide on the stage. So I'll probably t I'll probably take suggestions on Twitter uh, later on. If you're watching the YouTube version, you can leave the suggestion on YouTube. But I'll I'll ask for suggestions on Twitter later. What is Isabelle's final record for now? I would like to see this. Where is it? I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, I'm gonna, there it is. It's three and two. Jesus Christ. I ain't watching to save the match. I want Lucario to face the subtle and Smash champion. Sorry, brother. You didn't choose make any match. You just chose make a match, I think. That I should fa I should check that. How do I check that? I don't know. I'll check it later. I thought you only made had make a regular match instead of make any match. But hey, that's sell it and smash. Stay tuned for Animal Crossing. I'm gonna go hit the restroom. Let me let me hit a continue real quick. Thanks for watching. Sell it and smash. Uh, we're gonna we're gonna throw up a Paco. And we're gonna we're gonna be back with some Animal Crossing, literally in like one minute, absolute max of two. So I will I will see you in. A